Grounding is a crucial aspect to maintaining proper voltage on any fence line. As a rule of thumb, you want three foot of grounding for every output joule. We're here at Ashley's farm today. She recently just upgraded the size of her energizer to the Speedrite Solar All-in-One Unit. And we've come through a bit of a dry spell, so the ground conditions are very dry. We're gonna do a quick fix and give her a ground bed upgrade. So we'll go ahead and get an initial reading on the fence so we know what we're comparing to after we install the ground rod. So we're at 2.8, 2.9 kilovolts right now. So for this quick fix, we'll turn the energizer off, disconnect our ground lead, pull the short ground rod, use our gas powered driver to install a five foot ground rod, which is more than adequate for this one joule unit. Then we can turn it back on, test our voltage and see how we compare. At this point, we're ready to reattach to our ground. We could use the alligator clip that came with the energizer. In the past, just from wear and tear, I have had these nick or get partially stripped and then that's a grounding issue. So we're gonna upgrade in the moment, use some coated wire to run from our ground terminal of the energizer down to our new ground rod. To do that, we're gonna use a strain right staple puller. One of the features on there is a coated wire stripper and it works really well. So we're gonna use that as our tool. And then we just have a universal ground clamp that we can attach with the Phillips screwdriver. Now we can attach the ground clamp to the ground rod. And we open up this tap screw right here. So we can feed our ground wire up into it and then tighten it up to make good contact. Now our ground lead is attached to the ground rod. So we're now connected at the energizer at the ground terminal and the ground rod. We'll turn the energizer on and get a new reading on the fence. Four point nine five. So definitely made an improvement. So just remember as a rule of thumb, you want about three foot of ground rod per every output joule. Other considerations when you're building a ground bed for an energizer, if you have multiple ground rods, you'll want to space them out 10 feet apart and keep your energizer ground bed at least 50 feet away from any other existing ground bed or utility bed. Location is also key. If you can place your ground bed in a damp area that's going to retain moisture, you'll have a better connection. Or if you get into dry conditions or dry locations, you may need to come out and water your ground bed just to keep adequate grounding. If there are any other fencing questions or topics that you would like to see covered in our videos, leave your suggestions in the comments below. You can find the featured products and materials in this video in our description notes. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.